Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have some fun little card ideas that are just going to blow your mind. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two different magic slider cards that I'm going to share with you. Now, if you're not familiar with the magic slider card, I'll give you all the details in today's video. But let me just give you a little sneak peek of how this works. So this kind of looks like just a plain, plain old card with a little black and white image. But when you grab hold of the slider section, all of a sudden it transforms into a beautiful color photo or color picture of your, of your card. So isn't that cool? So let me show you again. So it's black and white here, and as you pull out the slider tab, it changes to color. So it's like magic. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's pretty simple to make. Um, okay, so first let's talk about creating the base of the slider card. So we are going to start with a five and a half by 12 inch piece of designer paper. So you can use designer paper, cardstock, whatever you want. I like the designer paper because it's a little more lightweight since we're going to be doing a lot of folding and adding of some layers. So on the 12 inch side, you're going to score this at four inches. And then you're going to scoot it over and score it at eight inches. So you basically want three little sections that are four inches wide. So once you have all your scoring done, then you're just going to cut off just a little bit. I would say um, probably about an eighth of an inch. Just trim off a little bit on one of the ends. This will just make the card close a little bit better instead of having equal instead of having equal four inch sections. So this is the side that I cut. This is the side that I cut down. Okay, so this is what our card will look like. So this will fold on the inside, and this will be the base of our card. Then you're gonna cut a four and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of white card stock. And then you're just gonna make a little score line over here on the side at three eighths inches. All right, so we'll fold on this little score line here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create a little window in the center of my designer paper. So you can use any shape that you want. I'm going to use a rectangular shape to create just this little window, but you can use a circle, um, anything that you want to create that little window shape. All right, so once you've cut out this little section, you can save this little piece for a different card. So basically you have your window in the middle and then you have this edge that I cut down a little bit. This is gonna tuck under this piece and then you're gonna fold this over. So this is really gonna be the base of our slider card. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to add my little white piece here. And so this piece is just gonna go towards the bottom, so you're gonna bring it as far down to the bottom as you can. And it's gonna go in between the little folds here. So I'm gonna be adhering this little flap to the side of the card. So I'm just gonna add some tear and tape on there. Okay, so I just added a little bit of tape here to this little edge. I recommend using the tear and tape just so that you don't get liquid glue everywhere because we only want this little section to be adhered. So I'm just gonna scoot this right up against this side. And then we will just fold that down. So you should have this little white piece in the center now. So now this is what our base looks like with that little white piece in the center. And that little white piece is gonna be very important for creating our magic slider. Okay, so let's move on to creating the magic slider section. 
Okay, so the first thing you will need is a stamp set. So you're going to need a stamp set that you're able to kind of stamp an outline of. So I liked this Turtle Friends stamp set because I just have an outline of the turtle. And then I'm going to be able to stamp it just as an outline in black. So that's what's on the front of our slider card. And then the inside piece, I'm able to stamp the exact same image and then color it in. So I'm adding color. And then for the inside, see how we transform that black and white image into a color image? So you need to be able to have an image that, you know, you don't want a, a real detailed image because it's going to be stamped in black on the front and um, you won't be able to add much color to it. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But basically what you need to do is just find a stamp set that has some kind of image that doesn't have a lot of color on it or a lot of detail so that you can stamp it in black and then you can stamp it in black again and add a lot of detail and color. So I'm using this particular stamp set. You can choose whatever stamp set you like. The next thing you will need are the pieces to make up the magic slider section. So you're going to need a window sheet and you're going to need a piece of white cardstock. Both of these pieces are cut at three and a half by five and a quarter inches. And then you will need to just cut a little circle shape. I'm just using a one inch circle and I scored it in the center. This is actually going to be our tab on the top of our slider section. And then you'll need just some kind of clip. Um, and this is not going to become part of the card, but it's going to help you put the magic slider section together. Okay, I think we're ready to do our stamping. Okay, so I am going to be using a stamp positioning tool. This is Stampin' Up's uh, tool. It's called a Stamparatus. And so it has this little base for stamping, and then it has a hinged acrylic plate that kind of comes over that you can do your stamping with. So I'm going to be using this Stamparatus to do all of the stamping on my cardstock and my acetate sheet. So if you don't have the Stamparatus or you don't have a stamp positioning tool, I will give you some tips on um, how to create this. So we're going to be creating the landscape style. So I'm just turning my paper landscape. And I'm going to add my images. So basically what I want to do is I want to position my images on this particular piece of cardstock. So this is that three and a half by five and a quarter inch piece. So I want my turtles and all of my images to be kind of in the center. So remember, this is the window that I cut out of my designer paper. So I'm just going to kind of use this as a guide. So we'll add our little forever friends up here and then we'll add our little grass down here. Okay, so you just need to move your pieces around until you kind of get them, you know, centered within your design. And I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna bring my plate over and just grab my images. So now they're all lined up. And then I'm using stays on ink. So I'm going to be using this to stamp both my white cardstock and my acetate. So the nice thing about the stays on ink is it dries pretty quickly, but it's also permanent. So when you add it to your acetate sheet, it won't bleed and it won't wipe off. So I'll slide this over so you can see. I'm just gonna ink up this image. And then we'll stamp this right on the center of our white cardstock. So that's what our image looks like on our white cardstock. So we can take this out. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with our acetate. So I'm just lining it up with the edge of the Stamparatus and I'm just using this little, it says six inches, I'm just using this little six inch line to line up the top part. I'm just inking up my image again and this time we're stamping it on the acetate. And I'm just pushing down pretty hard because the stays on, like I said, kind of dries pretty quickly. 
All right, so there we go. And so that's what it looks like on our acetate. Okay, so these are the two pieces that we have. We have the exact same design on our acetate or our window sheet. And then we have the design also stamped here on our white cardstock. And the reason we wanna stamp them both the same is because they need to overlay exactly in order to create the magic slider section. So if you don't have a Stamparatus or some kind of stamp positioning tool, just cut a slightly larger size of acetate or window sheet so that you can kind of lay it on your design. You can lay it on your white cardstock and you can kind of match, you know, kind of scoot this around and match it up. But you can see by using the Stamparatus, these um, two pieces are pretty well aligned just by using that Stamparatus. So I don't really have any excess uh, window sheet, you know, on the outside of my white cardstock. So the other little tip for you is that you have to put all of your images on one block. So if you don't have the Stamparatus, you do have to add all of the images that you wanna stamp. You have to add them to a large ac acrylic block and then stamp them on the white cardstock and then stamp them on your window sheet. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to color our image. So I'm just gonna be using some Stampin' Blends to color my image, because you guys know I love my Stampin' Blends. So I'm just using some Granny Apple Green just to color in my turtle here. All right, so there's the base of our turtle. And then I'm just gonna highlight some of the turtle here with some old olive. Yep, and let's color in the tail, forgot the tail. And then we'll add just a little bit of color to our grass. So I'm just using the Granny Apple Green again, just to add a little bit of color here. And I'm using some light gray granite just to add a little bit of color underneath our turtle. And then I'll add some Poppy Parade. So I'm gonna add a couple heart images. So these hearts are from that this particular stamp set. So we'll just add a couple hearts here and there. And then the last thing I'll do is just add some old olive right to the center of my turtle. So there's a nice little shell design here and we can add that right to the turtle. So I have a little smudge right up here so I'm gonna cover up that smudge. Let's see, I'm gonna add just a couple more. There, <laughs> that looks better. <laughs> There, now I covered up my little smudge. Okay, so now that we have this colored, we wanna take our little window sheet, the one that has the same images stamped on it, and we want to overlay this onto this design. And we wanna line it up perfectly. And then once you have it lined up perfectly, you're gonna take that little clip that I told you to grab and you're just gonna clip these together, just on the end. So our slider card's gonna go this direction, so I clipped over on this end, because on this side, I want to add my little tab over here, my little pull tab. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the inside of this circular shape. And then I'm gonna grab this, and I'm just going to slide this on the end so this will be our pull tab for the slider section. Okay, so now we can take this little clip off and what you'll see is that you have like an overlay. So I have this black overlay of my turtle and then I have the colored turtle on the bottom. So we can bring back our slider card so how this works is the overlay, this overlay, 
our little acetate sheet. That's the part that is gonna show through the card first. And then we have this white piece. And then we lay our other piece on top. So basically, this white piece that we adhered to the base of our card is kind of like a divider. It keeps the two, it keeps these two pieces divided so that when you slide this out, you can see how it overlays. Do you see that? So that's why this white piece is extremely important. So you want the window sheet on this side, the side that's gonna show through this little window here. And then you want your colored image on the back. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do to our little slider piece here is we're gonna add a couple of pieces to the bottom. So this, the purpose of this is to, well, for one, I'm, I'm using it as a decoration, but the main purpose is that when you pull your slider card out, these little pieces that hang off the end are gonna, um, we're gonna put a little stopper in the slider card so that when you slide this out, this helps keep the slider in the card instead of allowing people to pull it completely out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glue down on the bottom here. And I'm gonna add my little scalloped piece to my acetate sheet, to my window sheet. And then on the back side, I'm just gonna add a little white piece of cardstock. So you want it just a little bit larger than three and a half, so about three, so we now have this little slider card with these, with the stopper on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so I just flipped my card upside down here. So what I wanna do is you can see where the folds are. You can see where the little creases are right here. Right at the top on each side of this three and a half inch piece, I wanna just add a little dimensional. And the reason I wanna do this is because it's going to kind of serve as a little stopper for the slider so that when we slide this up, it won't slide out of the card. So the only thing that's going to slide is this piece. And so you basically want your little dimensionals to be in between this piece. This kind of serves as that stopper. So when I bring this up towards the top, it'll stop on those, those little pieces. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> so the last thing we want to do is just punch a little hole, kind of like a little half circle, right in the front of our card. So just right there. So that way then you have this little half circle here so that it's easy to grab that little slider section of the card. Okay, so I think we are ready to put this together. So let me realign this here. So we have that section. So we will fold this over first. And then we're gonna add some glue on this section. You can use that tear and tape too. And then this section will fold over. So the card's a little bit putsy to put together, but um, it's not too bad. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be making slider cards constantly, <laughs> the magic sliders. Okay, so the last thing you can do is just add a couple of things to decorate the card. So the end of the card is open like this, just like the front is where we have our little slider section. So you can, if you don't like this, you can cover this up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here's one that I created. I just created like a little folding section that just kind of covers that up. So you'll start with a piece of, in this case I'm using pool party cardstock, and it was cut to three by four inches. And so the card is four inches wide. So on the three inch side, you're just gonna score it in the center at one and a half inches and then just fold it in half. And I sent mine through my embossing machine using one of these little scallop dies just to create kind of a fun little section for my card. 
And then basically it just fits on the end of your card like this. So what I recommend, because you don't wanna add glue to your uh, window sheet, I recommend adding some tear and tape just to the sides. So this is the piece that's gonna go right on the front. So I wanna add some tear and tape here. So that's gonna go on the front and it's gonna go up the sides a little bit. And then we can add a little bit of tear and tape to the bottom here. So that's the front. And then the back section, I'm gonna add a little bit more tear and tape to the back on the other side of the score line. All right, so we're gonna basically start on the front. I haven't pulled the, this is double-sided adhesive, so I haven't pulled that off yet. I'm just gonna line this up with the edge of the card, and then I'm just going to squish this on. And then, so you don't want this section adhered down to your window sheet, because otherwise then the slider section won't come out if you do that. So you just want it adhered to the sides of your card. And then on the back, we'll just take this piece off. And you can add any kind of little decorative end that you want. You don't have to add the scallops to this, but I just thought the scallops kind of finished it off nicely. So we'll just fold this up. And then you have that bottom section covered and you still have your slider. So it's just kind of a fun way to decorate your slider card. And then you can add some little embellishments or whatever you want to decorate up the front of your card. And then of course, you can also do this card in portrait style. So here's the one in landscape style. And then all you basically have to do is just decorate it different. So I stamped my images in landscape on my paper for this card. And then for this card, I just stamped them in portrait style. So again, it's the exact same concept. It's just that we decorated it differently. The measurements and everything are the same for creating the base of your slider card. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways that you can make a magic slider card. You have the landscape and you have the portrait style. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.